Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer and Cardboard Stacker Top 5 video. Today's Top 5 video is for 5 games we hate. In fact, our Top yeah. 5 games we hate. <laughs> yeah. So the way we're going to start this off is we're going to both roll one of our Space Invaders dice, spaceinvader.tm or something, mm. and whoever gets to the highest number is one who's going to decide who goes first on the Top 5. What happens if we tie? If we tie, we roll again. We roll again, of course. All right, now Ready? we'll go ahead and use our Black Thumb Creations dice towers. No product placement at all. <laughs> Here Ready? we go. Three. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Gotta do it again. <laughs> Six. Six. I go. I, I'll go first. I'll go first. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think one of the things I'm. This is a game that I think I recently played, and then played it like quite a while back again mm. and you haven't played it yet and you think it's going to be a little obscure it's got a, it's called a game called outpost and this is outpost yeah outpost which is uh, published by stronghold games this is a reprint of a game about going in it's like in that in space and you're trying to uh mine away make money mm. basically and that's all you do is that you just make factories you're just making money in space and get and get um, get money. Do you so fly the, the factories? No, no. The factories just generate. You buy factories and you just put humans in it, and they make money for you. Do you fight? Do you? No. Do you? Do you terraform Mars? No. <laughs> it's it's the thing is it's like it's really really slow. It's like it's just a grinding game. Like you just wait until you go to the end and hopefully it's like get the most an unfun for you. euro. Yeah. I, I, I might have a game similar to that on my list. Yeah. So, no spoilers. Though. So it's just getting factories to get, it's um, getting the factories to make money, to buy better factories, to get better stuff, to get, to buy a better factory, to get better stuff. It's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's a mindless game. So cookie cutter. Wow. I, yeah. I'm afraid to try it now. Yeah. And we play with five people. It's like, it's so long. It took us three hours for a game that you don't have to think really hard on. Like it's. I can't, I can't say any more about it because it's like it's being that so it's bad. It's that bad. Yeah. Mm. All right, so I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one. This this game here, I I wanted to like it, okay? I, I like Japanese culture. I like the art. I like miniatures. I like chibis. I'm all down for that. So when I saw Takenoko, I thought, what a great game for me and my fiancé and all of our friends. And, oh, man, when I played it, it is, it is not what I expected. It is rummy, right? Where you're playing down things and you're trying to acquire certain things on the board. And it's cute. It looks great. I love the quality of the game. It looks wonderful. But it has a mechanic. And you're gonna, I'm going to run across this as my list goes on. It has a mechanic that I hate. And I hate when you can hold things in your hand and then play them all down at once. And a lot of my friends, especially my fiance, likes to hold things in their hand and wait. And wait. And they've, she's got the conditions met. But you think, I think I'm winning. I'm playing. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm doing well. And everybody else is playing. And she just goes and puts all the stuff down. And she just instantly wins. And it's just like, oh, that's it. Game, game over. Every time we play that game, that is how it goes. And it's driven me nuts. Like, I kept looking in the rules to see if I was wrong or not. But uh, it's very... The game, I'm, a lot of people like it. I know that. Yeah. And it's a fun, beautiful game. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's just a no. Well, I only played once. Mm. So I can't remember much of it, unfortunately. So... That, that might say a little bit, too. Yeah, well, it's a good-looking game, though. It really is. I'm sure people will like it if you like rummy and stuff. But for me, it was just a, holding cards in your hand. Any of those games, I just I don't like it. I don't like when you just dump cards. Oh. That's why it's a, it's, a, it's a lighter game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Four? Four. All right. Um, are we going to roll up for this? Yeah. All right. Well, I, I got a one. I guess you're going first. Okay, we're, we're going to start that again. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Go. Six. Four. Four. I'll go first this time. All right, so my number four is a game a lot of people have heard of. In fact, it's in the game, I think it's in the top 100 games right now. And it is a little game I like to call Power Grid. Power Grid <laughs> is a game about building factories... And collecting coal and and other metals, I guess, to build more factories. The theme is stale. The game is long. And I hate it. Oh, you have it right there. Why do you have it? 
<laughs> I owned this game because I thought it would be good at a thrift store. It looked dry, and it's I, this would be my I have an honorable mention, which would be Third and Taxis. It's just a very dry theme. I just I just couldn't get past the theme, and then when I did, I was just it was just not a game I was good at either. I, there's nothing about this game I enjoyed really. I mean, I, I hate to say it because I know I'm gonna get some well, yeah, for well, this. it is partially themeless, I guess, but I do enjoy the game myself. So I, I can't see how it well, drives what, me insane. What, like, I mean, how many people has he played with? <laughs> played with five, four, five? It's still pretty long, though. If you play with five, that's substantially it's long. It's a very long game. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, collect the things, build the things. Okay, how many points do I got? All right. I mean, there, there is some, like, cutthroaty action in the game, I think, but it's just so long, and it just stale to me. It just, it does, it's not thematic at all for me, and that's the problem, I think. Okay. Well, my next game is... Well, I, I haven't brought this one either, but I think everyone would know it. It's Bang the Card Game. Bang the Card Game? Oh, yeah, yeah, Bang yeah. the Card Game. I own it, in fact. I could have brought it up for you. Well, this game, I think we played too... I think it was one of these games that you played too many too many times, and then soon you just get sick of it. I am, in fact, Munchkin. very sick of it. <laughs> so, um, well, Bang is... Uh, if you didn't know, Bang is a game where you... It's kind of like werewolf kind of thing where you're trying to, one person's a sheriff, other people are outlaws and deputies, deputies and renegades, but you don't know who they are. Everyone knows where the sheriff is, but the deputy is trying to kill all the people, the outlaws, and then the deputy, the outlaws, outlaws like, yeah. just wants to mm. kill the sheriff and the renegade wants to kill everyone but the sheriff, then kill the sheriff. <laughs> It's a very werewolfy esque yeah. style game. Yeah, I think the the thing is like the card game gets a little too long. We, we I mean, this is even the basic game playing it too. So it's um, there's I always die in the game first. I don't know. In my game group, they like to kill me first, no matter. And then you're out for a while. Yeah, and that's always fun. Yeah, it's, it's also elimination. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, what I can say about that game too is. There's a lot to say about that game. But we bought the game after playing it once, thinking, oh, that was fun, kind of fun. And then we never played it. <laughs> ever. Because there's just so many better games. Yeah. There's so many better trader-style games. And that's just... It's just... I think it's old, too. And after you play it so many times, it just... Yeah, but, well, the trader aspect is there, but once you play the game enough, it's like, basically, you know what to do after afterwards, you know? So, yeah. there you go. Uh, I, I, I got you. All right, number three? Okay. Number three. There we go. And three, two, four, two. two. Okay. Going first. I mean, or I'm always picking first. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm going first. Okay. Oh, before I take it out, this is the game. Uh, oh, no. There's like, okay. Yeah, this is that. I put it all my oh, stuff Oh, okay. I thought there. you were pulling a game from my shelf. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the game that a lot of people play. Very, it's very popular right now. Mm. A lot of people play at conventions. They uh, just basically anyone. Am I gonna like this game? Do I like this? I game? don't know. You're gonna like it. And I put it. It's basically two of the game at the same time. I, I'm not cheating. It's just I just feel it's the same time. And it's Avalon and Ultimate Werewolf. Uh, uh, no, you don't like these games. I I don't like pure social deduction games. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is the ultimate. There's so much in here. Yeah, so I I, I don't see the value in it. Ah, <laughs> oh, try finding a 14 player game other than this. But I will tell you, I think it's just for me though, and there's other people like this. But I think I'm too easy to read, and so a lot. Mm. I do play a special group of friends that can actually just read when <laughs> like, are you a good guy or a bad guy? And like, what? No matter how I react, they would know right away, yeah. which really ruins the game for me. I have to sit there, and they know what to do, and they just do everything. Do you not like Resistance too? No. Avalon oh. and Resistance. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, this is like... Uh, yeah. My, this is like in my top 20, at least. I mean, it's it's purely the social deduction game. I mean, there's so many social aspects to the game. I mean, okay, I give you, I'll give you what? I'll give you one. First of all, I don't like the elimination aspect. Yeah. I, I, I understand that for sure. And if you if you're out in a thirteen player game, you might as well just go play something yeah. else. Yeah, I mean, but when a game is you know this kind of style, I have a hard time basically lying, especially when I'm the bad guy. So um, I, I I don't feel too attached to these kind of games. I have them because everyone else likes I, them. Uh, so. Fair enough. I understand your reason for disliking them, but I just yeah. I love those trader games, and this these are the ones that got me almost yeah. into the hobby. Yeah, I mean Avalon. I you know I I started liking Avalon, but as player people, you know. 
played it so many times. I didn't play this one that much. I played Resistance. I have yeah. all the expansions. Well, no, Resistance. I bought the first edition of Resistance. I still even had the first edition of Resistance. I think it's, you know, kind of brilliant when it came out, though. But for me, it just, I can't play it anymore because people know I'm too much. There's, a, there's artifacts for this, too. You can add that give you everybody special powers. They can use once. Uh, I, I, I don't it, see the value. In. All right. Fair enough. Fair so, enough. Your turn. All right. Man, I'm going to get some, some more. I'm going to get some real. People are going to be mad at me now. Yeah. I'm, and this is a lot of my games are like uh, categorical almost. Like uh, Takenoko was Remy style, dropping all the cards down all at once and winning the game. It just the things to me like that fall flat. Power Grid is just lack of theme and very long and uh, drawn out. This one here, this is a card game that was basically a rip off of another game that was okay, and then everybody else decided to rip on this card game, which was already a rip off. So when people tell me, "Oh, that's just like that game," I go. Well, that game is also a ripoff of Apples to Apples. So this game is Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> Cards Against Humanity, I have a lot to say about this game. I'm going to sum it up. Basically, it's a ripoff of a game, all right? It makes some potty words and stuff like that, and I get it. I, 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 I'm an unfiltered gamer, all right? Uh, I, I have no problem with any kind of language you want to put in or any kind of themes. I'm okay with all that. You make your game the way you want to make it. But don't rip off somebody completely and then make it your own game. And did they even give him credit? I, I don't even. Know. I don't think they did. This game is literally a rip off of Apples to Apples. There's there's nothing different about it. And the worst part about this, the thing that the the gr most grievous sin about this game is there's no replayability after a couple games, especially with play a lot of players, because all of the cards start falling flat. Yeah, a big black might be funny the first couple times, and it was right. <laughs> But after the fifth time somebody plays that card, I'm just like, okay, okay, yeah, that's... And then they have to make expansions to it for a bigger blacker. And then they have to make, like... And it just has to get more and more crazy because it, otherwise it's just funny. It's not going to lose its... It loses its little potty value, you know? Yeah. It's not like Rick and Morty, which I love. You know, don't get me wrong. But this game, it just... It doesn't do it for me. And any games that they've created so far, like Secret Hitler and stuff, like... It's a rip-off of Resistance. Like, stop ripping off games. Make your own game. Come on. Like, it's not that hard, all right? I mean, take a chance. You, you've got enough money now. Please don't make your third game be a rip-off. Yeah, don't they have a lot of money that can make an actually a game? That they actually, <laughs> yeah. So, I, Like a new game. Yes, any, any game that is they, not... They could probably buy, like, make, buy a whole company <sighs> and make a game, right? Yeah. I, yes, please. Well, I, well, Take one from Europe and bring it here that we haven't seen before, guys. Well, well Michael, I will have to warily on you to agree with this <laughs> all right we've got we've got an agreement. yeah, yeah. we're not gonna I mean, cross I, I, over i don't I, think though I, I could have put into my list i mean the thing is it's it's not funny it's 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 low-hanging fruit too i think at this point people are just kind of like you either own all of the expansions now or you just stop playing yeah the thing is is like my aunt got it like oh look i bought this game it's so funny <laughs> she probably had to understand why not find funny funny because like and she wants to play with everyone else right i was like i'll play with you and everyone else if you let grandma play. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a lot of... Now, don't get me wrong, too, really quick. I'm just a side tangent. But I've, I've done a lot of review, reviews for games that are similar to Cards Against Humanity. Like, uh, Cheer Up. I've got a couple of them on there. Bad Decisions and There's stuff. a lot of clone There's games. There's a lot of clones. <laughs> and I don't think they're bad games. I don't think Cards Against Humanity is an, an awful game. I mean, I personally don't like it. But I don't think it's an awful game. I just think the concept was stolen, which pisses me off. Uh, as well as the fact that... These clones are just coming out because they think they can just ride the coattails of these games. Now, yes, there are fun ones, and I do like them, but I think we need to move past that. Make something else outrageous that's different. I'll review it for you, all right? Mm -hmm. Anyway. No one, no one's, like, doing, like, co-names or Ticket to Ride. <laughs> it's kind of funny, that one. Yeah. All right. Next game. What is this, number two? Number two. No, oh, I'll let you know that mine, this is not, mine's not in order. That's okay. Mine, yeah. mine is. Yeah. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> yeah. Mine's not in order. Ha! Two. Six. I don't know. I'm going to leave it to you. All right. Fine. <laughs> Even uh, though I just said earlier that I was just going to go. Yeah, I'm like, my it. heart's already pumping from thinking about. All right. I got another one. You guys. I know. This is where all of my old, uh, older gamers are going to start hating me now. Man, I'm going to have a lot of hate after this. This game... Or, is, or, is or like, new friends, you know. <laughs> yeah. This, this game is a game that my fiancé's uh, parents got me involved in. And I, I sat down to play. And I think the reason this game has a bad taste in my mouth, it's not just the game itself, but because of the way I had to, to go through playing it. It's, when, it's a game that you get better at progressively as you play it, the more you play it, which is cool. Except when you bring a new person in, you tell them very little, and then you destroy them. And that game is a choir. Hold on, hold on. Can you turn off the camera? I'm gonna 
No, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Acquire is a game where you're building hotels and taking stock from those hotels, and as you take more stock from those hotels, you try and destroy other hotel <laughs> chains and build new hotel chains. And the bigger your hotel is, the more points you're gonna get for based on the stock you have at the end of the game. Uh, the theme is okay, you're putting... Square, squares on a it depends on what game well, you got. Wooden well, squares on a grid. It doesn't make sense though, but <laughs> it, you're just putting things on a board and you're trying to eat up. It reminds me of Snake almost, like the little snake game they uh, go around. That's what it reminds me of. But the game is so cutthroat, and it's not fun cutthroat because if you're a newer player to teach somebody else this game and you don't go through the entire rules of this game before you just show somebody how to play it, because it's not fun. Like, I sit there, and I'm, like, looking at all my cards in my hand or whatever, you know. And I'm, tiles. Oh, sorry, tiles in my hand. I'm like, <laughs> okay, what spot? Okay, this spot. And then I go, and so I'm like, would it be a good idea to set that down? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And so I put it down. And he's like, oh, ho, ho, and he slams something down. And he, oh, oh, I hate this game. I hate Acquire. And it's, it's, I think it's not the game itself. I mean, there is things I don't like about it. The theme is boring. The, 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 the whole setup is, is, is bleh for me. And I don't want to play it five, six times to get good at it so I can play it more. I just don't like it. But it's it's the way you have a new player go in for a game. This is the, the, the idea is teach people beforehand and give them helpful hints and tips on how to play the game. Do not try and destroy new players in a game. It's not fun, all right, for any game, but specifically this one. Well, it's a whole, that's not like a whole little culture, like subculture that, does, you know, just develop in... What we have in the board yeah. gaming society. It's kind of weird. I hope that dies down, though, over the things we have. It's the alpha gamers. My, my parents, alpha gamers. <laughs> well, anyway, I mean, going back to the game, I, I want the people that love it. So it's like, I'm in complete agreement with Cards Against Me. I'm in complete disagreement <laughs> with Acquire. And there's one, Acqui like, Acquire, bad. Acquire bad. is, like, one of the games I like to teach people, like, who is starting to get into your, I mean, it's almost like, um, if you, you know, if you read the stories and what it's significant, it's like almost the beginning of Euro gaming, but it was made by an American. If I walked <laughs> over to your house and the first game you wanted to teach me when I was new to board gaming was a choir and we sat down, I wouldn't have any of these games. I'd be gone. I'd be playing video games. Yeah. And granted, it's like non-themes, but I don't care about what theme it is. It's like, I, I do care. Putting like these things on the thing and you're trying to eat the other things to get the things and then you have no points at the end. No. <laughs> What's your two? You know, they do have a new reprint of this. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not. Okay. Oh, well. So, I guess it's my turn. Machi Koro. It's a great game. Well, I I used to like it. This is very much. Nice row, though. No, no. I mean, just the beginning. It doesn't matter. It's like, when this first came out, I loved this game. It's good. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, what really, I mean, then as soon as I played it more, more I learned about more of the game. And how you can stores, do. bro. That's what's up. It's just that, it's just stupid duck, like, throwing it's dice. It's chance. Yeah, I know. I know. And you, and it can, the thing is, it can go long forever. I mean, just like, people like, keep going and keep going. It's like. Yeah, roll the dice. Hopefully, you hit the convenience store. <laughs> it's like it's 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 like Las Vegas to me. That's this kind of game. You're just kind of it's ch it's full chance. I mean, there is some strategy involved, yes, but mainly it's roll of the dice. And I think one of the other things that breaks it is fun it's kind of it's funny like how the design of the game, how they make expansion is like they're the expansions kind of fixes something in the first thing. Like the the harbor one fixes some of the stuff in the in the original game. Mm. They didn't have any problems. And then they have Millionaire's no Row to fix some stuff in Harbor expansion. And now it has new problems. This game just keeps getting problems. I mean, and I especially hated the, the new way to play where it's like no longer that free tableau. You can buy anything else. It's like that deck drawing. Mm. No one likes to buy purple cards. And you know how much purple cards came? Like six Expensive. purple cards. And then there are people throwing dice. Then that's it. And then just waiting. Oh, red card. Someone's good. That then that person wins because he's the only one collecting money. 
I, I, I appreciate your uh, your resentment towards the game. Yeah. I think it's because I win this a lot. That's, That's why right. I enjoy this game. I just buy the convenience store. Yeah. You roll the four, you get three coins, and I just have ten tons of them. Oh, just I mean, so much fun. I need mean, to probably have to update my review for this game, but it's basically you're <laughs> you're building a craps table. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite game in Vegas. I like craps. I don't like Machu Core. It takes this long, and I'm not getting money for it. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Number one? Yep, here we go. Come on, baby. Six. Four. Six. Oh, you are going first. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is one. Okay, this next, my last game is a game that I played even before I got into gaming. Is it Munchkin? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> is it Munchkin? And we played it for the whole night, just one game trying to reach level 10. <laughs> yes! Gotcha! Yes, it is Munchkin. <laughs> oh, it's man. A bunch of pennies in there. I, 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 I ha yes, I have it, but I have it for the people. How many expansions do you have? I don't know. It's just probably just... There's probably one. I've got five. <laughs> yeah, I do, and I also have the Adventure Time Munchkin as well, which is just a little, a little bit. Little better. I was just guessing. I'm just like, what game would he, based on the other games he's talked about, this one? <laughs> yeah, it's not that. I mean, I I kind of like the mechanics of how things work around the game. It's just it's just too long. <laughs> of when we play it with six people after a D and D game. I I agree with you completely. <laughs> this this is on my short list for sure. This is definitely um, one of those almost there. I mean, I think the sparing moment for this game is probably the the art and the humor in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, Shakespeare, which, which, the, which kind of like only you get to see only once, and everything any other time it's not that as funny. Yeah, well, and it's then, Cards Against Humanity kind of problem. So too much, too much to take take that game. I mean, we we it's all, it's all it is. We played with eight people, and we thought ten would be insane, so we went to the insane round. And just played with five rounds, <laughs> five five levels. So, yeah, yeah. Problem, and we didn't finish. This game, <laughs> the issue with this game is, if you get to nine first, you're going to lose. Yeah. If you get to nine first, everyone will kill you, and then everybody's gonna run out of stuff, and the next person who gets to nine, mm -hmm. they're going to win. That's generally how it works. So yeah. Oh well. I do miss you, but I would agree wholeheartedly. This game is no more for me. <laughs> now, time for nine. Okay, this one I think people will agree with me. I think I've got one that I won't have too much shit about. Not, not too much. This one is a game that has been remade more times than I'd like to count. This game. Does it start with M? No, no, it's low hanging fruit. Mine's also low hanging fruit, but it's not M. This game, however. Is it a few more letters? <laughs> this game is a game. Where you're trying to race, but the problem is players are trying to stop you while racing on the board. This game is called Sorry, or Trouble, or Parcheesi, or Ludo, or any other game where you have to roll a die to get out onto a space, or draw a card, or pop the pop a magic machine, and then go around the board and try and make it into the little crapshoot inside the home base. This game irritates me on a lot of counts. It has much, the, the, the annoying thing about Machi Koro, where you have to actually roll the die and get lucky, is the same thing in all of these games. You have to roll the die, draw the card to get out into the start space. Then you need to go around the board without getting landed on by your opponents, and they're all the same, <laughs> and then make it to the home stretch. And you have to get the exact number or the exact die roll to make sure you get inside the thing. Now the problem with this is if you're a good game and everybody else knows you're a good gamer, even though this game is full of chance, all of your friends like to make sure you don't make it to the end because no one wants you to win. And this game, I will get lucky if I get one piece around the board, generally speaking. I have not played this game in so long. I, I, I used to own two copies of my ex-girlfriend used to uh, play this a lot with me. Um, but no, no more. No more sorry, trouble. No, There's a four-way tie of the worst game in history. Going around the board, having go back to start, back to start... People, you're gonna, you think you, you're in dead last, and your friends are still gonna screw you over. Oh, hate this game. Me too. <laughs> right? Finally, <laughs> two agreements. No crossover, but a little bit of an agreement. 
Except for the werewolf thing. What the hell's yeah. wrong with you, man? No, it's, <laughs> and you're crazy with a choir. The choir. Oh, well, going back to, you know, sorry. I mean, it, it, it's almost like you actually do have a little bit of swaying where you can choose the pieces, right? That's, that's the only thing you can do is if you have only if you have one piece, no, you you get to do one thing. Uh, depending on the game, of course. But yeah, if you roll your piece out and you're going around the board and you only have that one piece and you roll anything that's not a one or a six or whatever, you just move the piece. And then you pray that everybody else's piece doesn't get you. Only if you have two or more pieces out can you actually have any choice in the game whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should give you um, aggravation. That'll be a good game. Too. <laughs> no. If the game has... To, if you have to go back to start or lose a turn or roll the move and roll to get out, it's not a game for me. A game for me. Good. Popular games. These are all fairly popular games. I think that most of them are in the top 500, and a couple of them are in the top 100. Well, pop, well maybe selling quite a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. All yeah. the, especially these games. Sorry, and all them. They're maybe, selling. Except a lot. for Outpost. Don't don't look for Outpost. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't sound very fun to me. But those are our, our games for our top five most hated games. <laughs> uh, mine actually done in order, and his in a random order random of order, just yeah. games that we dislike. Anything you want to plug at the end here? Well, anyway, Carbert Stacker, check my stuff out at thecarbertstacker.com. All right, as well as the Unfiltered Gamer, check out my stuff as well at unf unfilteredgamer.com. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't bother. But as well as checking out the affiliates, wherever you'll find them here, Devitos Gaming, uh, what, the bo board game, board, the everything everythingboardgames.com <laughs> and thegiveawaygeek.com it's been a long day <laughs> check out them they got a bunch of good stuff for you as well as the giveaways on my site a nice little kickstarter list we're putting out new content all the time we really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>